everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have a fun video for you today. Someone we met actually at the Daytona show that we did a while ago, a few months ago, reached out to us and he is gonna be having a storage unit sale. So we are really pumped about this. We've never been to a storage unit sale before, but he has a whole unit full of comics, a lot of variety. So we're on our way right now to preview that and check it out and we're bringing you with us because we're gonna have this video out in time that you guys can attend the sale as well. So we're pretty excited to see what he has. I think Angelo mentioned he has like some golden age books and uh, you know a bunch of different stuff so we're gonna show you guys everything so you can get a look at what's gonna be at the sale and if you see anything you're interested in you can make your way out we do not have the date and time just yet but of course we will have it at the end of this video so we'll put everything in the description so if you're in the Central Florida area and you want to come to the comic sale at the storage unit it should be really fun we'll be there and hopefully everyone will have a good time and be able to get some great deals so we'll bring you guys back once we get there and we'll talk to Chris kind of see where where this idea came from and show you everything that he's gonna have at the sale so we'll see you guys once we get there all right we are pulling in now at the Fort Knox self storage area so I think Chris is gonna be out here somewhere but we're trying to give you guys a little look as to how to get there for the day of the sale on, buddy. what we'll do is well, this is the gate where you're gonna go in for the actual sale so if you want to film going into the gate okay I, you said you want the good yeah so it's this first one right here well, my, yeah, my unit's there, but this is where it's going. Where the sale's going to be. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah let's... You know, I told you about it. Let's film the first gate right here real quick, just so we could show everybody where the yeah, actual sale's going to be. Up to the unit. Yeah. So as soon as you pull in to the storage facility, it's this first... Um, yeah, so there's the entrance, right and it's like this left right here. I'm guessing this will be open. I don't know how it's going to work when... um when the show's going on, if the thing's going to be open, like, the entire day, or if you're going to have a code, you're going to have to type in i'm gonna have to ask him this is the first time we've ever been to like an event like this where he's like someone's setting up their actual storage unit we're gonna go around the corner over here so once you go in the gate you're gonna take a right and then it must be over here so you kind of go around the corner and, and then we'll show you the where the unit is Hold on, Angela. How good are to you see today? you again man doing great looking forward to the sale coming up next week yeah, we're getting ready for it yeah About two weeks Two what weeks, the, right? I don't even know what day this is, golly. I was gonna ask you, I, I didn't remember off the top of my head, when is the actual sale going on? I think we're gonna do it September, November, December. December 9th, uh, the same day as uh, Tom and Joe, which are in the area, so you can hit three of them at once. Yeah, there you go, lots All of stuff All within 40 on. minutes of each other, so technically I guess you'll be at two of them at least. Yeah, well I'm gonna go to Joe's on Friday and then I'm gonna be here on Saturday. This video will be uploaded um, this coming up Friday so everybody will be able to see it and then be able to check out all the cool books you'll have for sale. This is the first time we're ever doing a, uh, a sale at a storage unit like this so it'll be cool. Blur my face out because it might break the camera. But <laughs> <laughs> anyways, we'll be here and then um, you know it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's there's a lot of junk in here so It'll be straightened out a little, a little neater so we don't trip and fall when we go in because my insurance ain't real good. So <laughs> anyway, we'll head in and then I'll take a look at it. It's not messy. You got it pretty organized. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> that, but uh, it's like... This is a nice size unit. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. There's a lot of room for Cool people. in here too. Yeah. Yeah, wow, the one in Carolina is actually... About three times the size. Oh, we, wow. we can drive into that one, in fact. Oh, you have multiple oh. units with comics in them. Yeah, the one in Carolina is the main one. This oh, is the okay. secondary this is one. A, okay. So yeah, cool. And this is what you bring to all your shows you do, right? Yeah, it's for the shows and stuff. I do my work in here once in a while, but not, you know, I mean, I, I'm pretty lazy, so I don't do too much work, obviously. What, what made you think of doing the storage I'm just going to ask that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what made you decide to want to do the storage sale? Because I know you set up at all the, um, like the, Cons the and stuff yeah, and primarily shows. out of state cons. Pretty, yeah. pretty much. Uh, your video and Lee and Joe and other people telling me how. Yeah, it was it, 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 it was fun so yeah it's a great time and there's a lot of people locally that love coming to these things and they, they love saving on the, mm -hmm. the shipping and the online fees and stuff and sometimes right. when you come to these local shows you get some really good deals so I'm excited to, to look through everything and you got it all nicely set up here too well it won't you know it's it's got to be redone a little obviously but uh it, it's oh you got CGC's in here yeah there there's anywhere from you know, more modern to, I guess it's just some of the ones in there. I don't, I don't know what's in these boxes anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, a little bit of everything. Let's see. Somewhere in here we have a, a decent book. But I might have, uh, I don't leave all this here, obviously. Um, oh, those are good. Everybody always loves this one. First Doc Sampson. Oh, that's sick. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, 
free code and Ghost Driver, whatever you call it. Um, and you got a little mixture of everything here. It looks like there's slabs and raws. Oh, there's some cool ear nags in here. These are really sick. Yeah, that and the one right in front of it's really cool. Witch's Tales. Web of Evil. Oh, this is a nice box here, Tim Holt. Police. Yeah. But, uh, that's um, a box. I mean, magazine, Jack yeah, Eerie, Vampirella. Oh, oh, there's Vampirellas in there. <gasps> Oh, there oh, we go, no. Sarah. Well, I might have to. <laughs> I'll be at the sale. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of these issues. Are you going to have all this stuff out? Like everything in here? Pretty pretty much as much as I can get on the tables and stuff. Mm -hmm. Joe is going to actually loan me some tables because I don't have a lot of tables, obviously. Yeah, he's got those really nice ones. Yeah, he has so, the, yeah, those, like, the support in the middle. So ones. I'll have some tables. I'll probably have three racks up for the... Uh, some of the CGC actually we have a Hulk one and stuff like that, and of course those boxes are not here. They're at uh, store uh, at uh, you know the vault type thing. Where, what kind of Hulk one do you have? What grade is that? Uh, it's a 4.0. What are you selling that for? It'll probably be priced at about twenty-seven thousand. Um, and then you know we have a Werewolf 32 9.6. That's in the fifteen thousand range. Uh, that's our better books. You know, Giant Size X Men one nine zero and a six five. But we have other books in the. Uh, over a couple thousand, but majority of our stuff is two to five hundred dollars. You're gonna have, you know, the the classic covers. Oh, look at the Neil Adams Batman. Yeah, um, this is you know just a selection of this box. That's a cool book. First Batmite, right? Mm -hmm. You don't see this one very often. I think we have like three copies of that. Okay. Um, oh, and you have them all like graded and stuff too. Yeah, I put the price, because we used to do CGC, but now that mm -hmm. shows are back up, you don't need CGCs anymore. Yeah. You know, on eBay or, or wherever, if you sell online, there's no dispute once you have a grade. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with, the, with CGC, but that, but whereas if when you're doing shows in person or like mm -hmm. this, I don't need CGC because yeah, exactly. people can see the book. Ooh, look at this one. Well, unfortunately, it's not complete, but it's going to be cheap for the show. You know, it'll probably be four or five hundred bucks just because the cover's nice. Just, oh, are you repricing a lot of these? This one says... Yeah, these are all these are all technically convention prices, so okay. they'll come down, you know... So you'll be cutting deals up. 10 to 30 or 10 to even 50% off. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. sick. That's awesome. A through X, and then, of course, more letters that, you know... I just Pop in there. I have a couple of those now. Whoa, is that an oh, original? Is that an original first print? Yeah. Whoa, that's Ooh. cool. Look at that one. That is nice. That is That's a pretty nice copy. copy too. All sorts of stuff in here. All right, let's look through. Let's see what we got. Nice early ASM. Clean copies. Yeah, you don't send a lot of these to get graded, huh? These. Well, you don't need to anymore. Oh, That's a nice one. Even though most of them are gradable, I do mark them on the back. The ones that if I. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. Want to see awesome. that. This is the, uh, isn't that the second appearance of Kazar? Or no, um, second appearance of Man-Thing? Man-Thing, yeah. yeah it's man actually thing. the first comic of Man-Thing. Wow, well, Vendor's number five. Yeah, everything's nicely bagged and boarded, too. Which is nice. Well, first Wonder Man. How much is the Wonder Man? Yeah, two of them. This one's three ninety, and then this one's four forty. I wish you'd have a few more. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch in it. <laughs> wow. Where do you get a lot of these from? Specializing first mental. appearances. Oh, is that ones. what you mainly do? Yeah, yeah, that's what everybody wants, it seems. I mean, yeah. we have box stock. It's just, it's all back in here in these boxes. Mm -hmm. But anything in, you know, especially for show stock, you just take first appearances and number one. It's everybody that key collector, everybody looks at yep, that. Yeah, that's true. And whatever's on there, that's what they want. And, uh, these are really nice. That's what these all Ooh. are, pretty much. Nice 10 cent Batman. That's such a yeah, cool one. Scarecrow. You have lots of these iconic books. Yeah, definitely going to be a great sale for people trying to pick up some keys or some of those more iconic covers. What's the name of the, the comic shop you own? Don't you own like a little online shop? Yeah, well, it's actually called Christina's Comics. It's, you know, I figured to put it in my wife's name because uh, it just saves trouble in the long run. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I should have said Sarah's Comic Shop. That would have been the way to go, right? I gave you more brownie points. Oh, that's the oh, first that's man the first, bat. Yeah. Some really nice Silver Age stuff here. Yeah, a lot of these books I feel like you don't really find too much. First, like Taoyao Ghoul. Out in the wild. Oh, Doctor nice Strange, one. you have a solo. Fantastic that's Thor. a classic cover. Wow, this is a nice box. Some really, really fantastic fours. Classic Doctor Doom covers. 19. That's the first Molecule Man, right? Yeah, first appearance of Molecule Man. 
extra copy. These are great wall books. I would set all of these. Yeah, right? That's the first Atuma right there. <laughs> this whole entire box is crazy. First Howard the Duck, I think, off the top of my head. Let's see how many of these keys I can name. <laughs> oh, that one's cool. That Number one, awesome. Monster Frankenstein. You don't see that one very often either. Oh, there's another one. You do see it often. There's another one. <laughs> Giant size like chillers. Oh, these are awesome. Is that a... This one? Is that number one? Oh, no. Eclipso. That's the first Eclipso. That's what that is. Yeah, the 61. House of Mystery. Those DC books are sick, man. These older... How the Death one. one. That's a clean copy. High grade. I like how they all got grades on them, too. Yeah, it is really nice that they're all already graded. Kind of makes it easier when you're, see. you're making a deal. Are these more like sets over here and trades? Actually, it's just stuff I just picked up. Trade paperbacks, I guess, and then magazines. I just picked up about 60 to 70 boxes of them. I don't even care. Oh, so this is a whole new collection. Mm -hmm. And then down on the floor is new. Most of the stuff is new here. And then stuff on top is new. I just, I can only uh, process so much. Oh, wow. Is. Look at all this. I just realized, oh my gosh, look at all these back here. Wow. So, how often do you say you would get collections in? Uh, well, I, I buy them from, pretty much from other dealers uh, quite often because a lot of people are. Unfortunately, or fortunately for me, sh strapped at this time. Yeah, this is. I think this right now is the time to be a buyer for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of people can use some help, and you know, we're fortunate that we uh, have that opportunity to be able to buy right now. You know, just in the boxes, I haven't gone through them yet. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's the first Jonah Hex, I believe, and then. Uh, oh, I'm oh, I'm looking for that. That's cool. First Metamorpho, Plastic Man. First, you know. The creeper yeah, you got stuff everywhere um but i mean like i said i i'm not 100 percent sure what's in the in the boxes uh you just you never know i mean oh they're the first iron fist yeah you get a five dollar book and then you have a, a better oh, book and then awesome. uh i don't know ff13 so it's it's eclectic Man. but each box is like that each box just has stuff in it that is just here um some john Byrne x-men's Wow, you got boxes stuff of everywhere. just awesome stuff laying around. <laughs> and yeah, I just don't have time to sort it all. I mean, this it's fun sick. for me because I, I would love to see what's in some of the boxes myself. It's just been so long, so it'd be like Christmas for me when I can. You know, this is a box of just you know horror comics from the '70s and you know even into the '80s. But a lot of these will be out. Um, gosh, gee, how do you get all these priced up in time? That's why they're sitting here because I don't have time to. Yeah, price them off. I, I don't even like I said, I I don't know exactly what's in a lot. Oh, that's sick! First Machine Man. First, yeah. And, uh, oh, that's oh, an wow. awesome one too. This is the first. Uh, is that the? Um, this is something. Right? What the number first, is that oh, six? Yeah, isn't that the Kill first Killmonger? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's the boxes are just. Oh, that's, oh, whoa, that's a huge, I think this is a pretty expensive one here. This is the second print on the first Court of Owls. Is that, that's good nowadays? Yeah, this is what they're, uh, I'm just saying, some people are saying they're going to use this for the, oh, whoa, that's sick too. <laughs> but they might use this with the Robert Pattinson movie coming up. This is awesome. Yeah, I mean, one. you just, I mean, the more boxes you go These through. solid that. copies too. It's just some odd stuff. I mean, you get a, a first appearance of Silver, of Sable. Silver Sable stuck in the middle of the first appearance of Plastic Man with a Santa Claus comic, and then it just in the 60s, and I don't know. I guess I, 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 I do need to go through this stuff someday. It's more, more horror. This is great stuff, though. People are looking for these right now. Um, oh, that one right there is the... Uh, oh, no, it's not. I thought that was the, um, the Nightmare. One. I know, Witching Hours. But the, the, most of this should be out. These are probably only, you know, 10 to 10 maybe $15. So books like these, you would price out around like 5 10 bucks. these witching hours? Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, there's, I don't know what this is. What's this? A bunch of Star Wars junk, if you're into Star Wars. A spawn one? With spawn in the one, middle of it. Yeah, odd. Um, but that Dark Horse Star Wars stuff. Is yeah, that's like all that is, is, is Star so Wars. stuff isn't priced all the way, or are you just going to let people, like, make stacks and then price it up like that? Yeah, I, I can. I got to decide. I've never done yeah. this. So y'all can maybe help me figure it out. So either have them make stacks and I can price it or yeah. throw it into stacks of 5, 10, 20, and then the better stuff have priced up what I can and then just have a, a follow-up sale. Yeah, I would think if, if you like know the values of most of these, doing you know, like 5, 10, 15 piles and doing it like that, 
or just yeah make a stack and then you can kind of like wheel and deal with people like that because you have a lot of good stuff i mean i can imagine everyone coming is just going to make like a big old stack and be like all right <laughs> yeah because <laughs> we'll i can tell you right now i mean like there's a bunch like this right here i'm interested yeah. in for sure and these spider-mans and if you get these out yeah, People all those love under these. 100 Spider-Mans, yeah. everyone loves those, yeah. Clean yeah, copies, if they're complete. I think complete. we have a graded, I mean, for some reason I didn't bring, I, I don't have the better graded books here, yeah. like the Hulk 1, Spider-Man 9, we have an 8 an 8-5, a 6-5, and that's the first Electro. Mm -hmm. And then 15, the first Craven we have a couple of. These were sealed packs, uh, they're unopened packs from the 70s and 80s, and oh, I cool. didn't realize, and then in the front was a bunch of Golden Age. And, and silver, oh, wow. but uh, whoa, we got black magic. You know, I, a nice I, I don't know how these got in there. I mean, I, I guess when I bought them, you know, early, I don't know what they are. They're just comics. These are some cool westerns, though. You never see these anymore. Wow. But it's just different stuff. Okay. Yeah, well, this is. I mean, you don't see comics like this at a sale often, especially like a without having to go to like a convention. Yeah, this type of inventory doesn't yeah. really. Double Show life of private strong. Oh, green. Is this... Is that number one? The first series, yeah. I just saw... I don't... I don't oh, know. That's a great one there. This is sick. The Alex Ross cover. This is a variant on Black Adam. This one's actually... It was worth a couple bucks when the movie came out. Oh, okay. yeah, oh look at all this. Spider-Man. We got these and then... What is it? Spider-Man 365. I just picked up like 20 of them. Oh, wow. So oh, that's the first uh, Miguel O'Hara, right? The first appearance of Spider-Man 29? Uh, of 2099. Yeah. yeah, I mean... Um, this looks like it's almost all more modern. New stuff, but you... You don't like the modern, <laughs> huh? Well, it's just... The older stuff is, is more fun to come across, but... Gosh, gee. Thought I had some better boxes back here to show you, which... Dude. No, these are awesome books, though. I mean, it's all about the pricing, though, right, at the end of the day? It, it, and what, yeah, I mean, I, I guess a lot of people buy the more modern stuff. Um, you know, for me, uh, the, the 12 centers, I don't know whose stickers these are, but they all have been priced at one time. It's just when I get collections, I leave them as they are. Mm -hmm. You don't um, reprice stuff or, like, rebag and board them once they come in? I do rebag and board them. I just don't... My time is, you know... Is is a little limited. Oh, sick! That stuff hiding all over the place. This one doesn't even oh have gosh. a bag and board. You know, it's like four. Oh, is that the first appearance of a uh, the wrecker, right? Yeah, creeper is. number one. I mean, oh, wow. oh, that's the first appearance of um. Who is that? The first appearance of the uh, yeah. Osborne. Um, yeah, Norman, Norman, Norman Osborne. Norman yeah. Osborne. That's that's actually the first Rosen Thorn. First Rosen Thorn. Oh, wow. I, which is not a big book right now, but you never know. I, like I said, first like this is all first appearances. This whole box apparently that people you know ask about it shows. Um, well, that's not a first there, but I mean, it's just odd stuff. I haven't gone through the stuff. Must have a few of those creepers because they keep popping up everywhere. Another uh, what's that? First Norman. Norman. Another one of the Wondermans. Yeah, we probably have a few of those. I probably have... Oops, there's another one. You got crazy stuff all over the place. Um, that's actually the first... What was it? Dual Dent, I think. Uh, Batman's or Joker's daughter. Oh, yeah, you can see it right on the cover right there, yeah. Yeah, and then you got... I mean... Oh, that's a sick one there. The Weird War, number one. Is that number one on Weird War? Yeah, that's number one, yeah. That's sick. That's the uh, first Moon Dragon. The first Banshee? Oh, first it is. First Banshee. Yeah. Another first, uh, I don't know. Men J. Or Gwen. Yeah, or Aunt Mary J. Right. Another one of those books. You just got duplicates of all these keys. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be a fun sale. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, now. You, you know, I, I mean, had no idea what you I had. Didn't expect it to be this many keys. <laughs> yeah, here. if you keep, like, that's the test logo. What that's, do you mean by that? Uh, it's, it's not a DC logo. They tried it in with two books and that was one of them um oh, gosh the other was a shazam uh it, it it's supposed to have the dc logo it was test marketed in two or three cities i think that's the first i can't see what issue it is but <laughs> that's first mantis it's the first sun guy i don't know it's it just it, they keep going that's ghost number one that's a new book ghost number one i don't think i've seen that before either i mean yeah i don't know that's it's just they keep going and going but i just don't have the time to sort almost the same thing over and over because you know i at one point we were investing really heavy and we probably got i don't know 20 copies of the first moon dragon 
um, another one of those. But those are all throughout the boxes now. So will you buy books to like speculate on a little bit? Or is it just Un like... Unfortunately, I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed you got a lot of the Wonder Man. It's, 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 um... But they're all, like I said, this is a, actually a first appearance number one box. That's the first Stealth Man. Yeah. On a first, you know, this is a modern book first. Was that Magic? I don't know. I don't Somewhere. know. That's 14, it's someone. I mean, that's the first Misty Knight, even though it's Marvel Team Up one. Another one of that one. Another uh, first, you know, uh, creeper. creeper. And if you're into Disney's, I got, gosh, probably ten boxes of vintage Disney's. Yeah, I saw you had a whole box over there of Disney. Um, I just, it just, it goes on and on. Unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, you could just see. Oh, I, the Swamp Thing with Batman. That's sick. You I, have stuff everywhere. I mean, <laughs> that's I awesome. Know. I would love to have this at my house. First Alpha. <laughs> I it, wish I had first appearance boxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then, and then, like I said, this is, you know, just the top box. It's, I, I have no clue. Like, that's the first, who's it? Uh, man, man something, Mamboka? Mbaku, that's what yeah, it that's is. That's yeah, that's who it is. First Yellow Jacket. First Goliath, I guess. First Swordsman. Another, <laughs> another Wrecker. Uh, first Pluto or Ares or something. Everybody loves those Thors. But they just, um, mysteries. Yeah, each box is going to be full of, uh, Surprises. I think these are these are variants. I think that's like a Mark Jewelers. That's just a barcode. These are Whitman's, and um, I have a lot of Mark Jewelers, Whitman's, and uh, some price variants. Uh, that's, that's stuff. This is right here. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, that's cool. Is that the first like Alice in Wonderland comic? Uh, it's from the early '40s, so it's got to be wow. fairly. I've never seen it. I just thought it was funky. She's got red hair. Isn't that cool? Aren't they like, what are they called? Cells. cells. Animation cells. Yeah, yeah. They, they come with, uh, most of them have the original art in the back along with the cell. Are these going to be what? for sale too? Yeah, probably. I, I think we'll have everything. If not at this sale, one or two. And then um, I picked up a collection of Spider-Man posters. Spider-Man posters? Some those? signed by like Stanley and stuff. Oh, Whoa. Wow. Then we have movie posters. Um, original movie posters, right? Like from when they all came out? Yes, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, the, 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 because of the lack of air conditioning in here, I don't have the better stuff here. You know, there's some more, uh, some comic posters, you That's know, with cool. Dave Stevens. You know, the Dave Stevens art stuff. But, you know, a, a, a lot of them, you know, are oh, science good. fiction movies from the yeah. early 60s and to back into the 50s. Other movie posters, different sizes besides that. These are actually Belgium. Of, of 50 science fiction that was called them I think that's obviously Rodan uh, mole people I mean it's all and most of them have uh, the creature carrying the, yeah, the distressed carrying female the, this is awesome stuff. here yeah they're so cool though it, it, it's reminiscent like I said it's reminiscent of, of 50s these are old school here yeah uh, there's just different types of posters too this is from the invisible boy with Robbie the robot from oh, that's Rod awesome. Forbidden Planet just picked up a poster of this and it's got the girl being the girl hanging. It's got the guy cut the uh, Vincent Price carrying the decapitated head, and and they go on and on. This is a whole wow. stack of posters. How do you display these though? That's got to take up a lot of room. Never done it before because I've only collected up to now. Mm -hmm. So I took a few. Actually, I think the show we met y'all at. Yeah, I saw you had some. I, I had about yeah. six or eight. Yeah, those were really cool. We thought about it. And we thought, how do we take them to shows without damaging them? Because believe it or not, these stupid boards. I had to have I have them custom made and it, oh, it's wow. like fifteen dollars just for this phone one phone oh, my piece. Goodness. It's crazy high, and most of them become are, become damaged. So therefore, I don't want to use damaged mm -hmm. phone board. It just looks tacky. But yeah, um, we'll have the good posters at the show too. A couple of them out for sale. Look, there's number two. It's pretty beat up, but it's a number two. Yeah, I haven't even it's gone through those. Find. I just I just pulled them out. So I figured you know so people can see a variety of what we'll have here. Yeah, and I think that's great. I mean, I think you have a, a really tremendous variety, especially, I feel like that's kind of the tough thing, like when we do our sales too, like, cause you're the only ven like vendor, right? Like you're the only yeah. one setting up. So like, you gotta try to have a little bit of everything, but you definitely have a little bit of everything, I'd say. I mean, you have like the Golden Age, the Silver Age, the slabs, posters, magazines. So I think everyone's definitely gonna have a really good time. I'm probably not gonna do it till about 12 o'clock. That okay. way Joe and, I don't wanna step on Joe or Tom's feet. And that way they can have their sales yeah. first. I don't mind being last so you know then then I'll have another one in January and I'll probably bring out 
I have some vintage Disney stuff and sports cars. I'll probably bring some oh, of those out also. Yeah, I didn't even probably pull these okay, out. But, all the silvery. I mean, Whoa. Oh, Conan, Conan number one. Oh, that's funny. You probably, <laughs> this is the first Mar Martian Manhunter. There's probably less than a dozen in the state. <laughs> And then you <laughs> yeah. like, Conan. So I, listen, I love Conan. <laughs> Conan. I, that is great. This is this is a really uh, clean one too, though. So that one's already but that, how that, expensive that, is this? Yeah, eighty nine hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's so listen, other. Conan. I love Conan. But yeah, I have two or three of those. Maybe four or five. Actually. This is one of those books that's super hard to find in high grade. It, it, oh, here you it, go. It's, yeah, that's a good key. This is the book everybody wants, right there, Sarah. Do you know that's what that one book? is? Yeah, no, it's the first Galactus. First appearance of Calendar, Calendar Man. Man. Never he seen that before. He didn't make it very far, apparently. It hit the top ten on Key Collector a Did while it? back. <laughs> I'm like, really? They're like, he's going to make a hit. First Kid Flash. Oh, oh this is a great one here. Oh, oh whoa! Oh, like Dracula 10. What's that, Sarah? First Bleed. Yep. Look at me. Look at me. Go. I need that. This is a really nice one, too. I know we had a few people that were looking for a Tomb of Dracula 1, and we oh, sold ours, so one. if you guys need one. No, I have one in a 5 no? Oh, I thought we sold one. Yeah. Did we sell one? I don't know. Losing I had it. the, the one eight I sold. It's all blur. What is this right here? This is cool. This is in the Golden Age. Avengers Comics. I have Matt Baker art, and I'm not positive. I have a really nice one there. Is this the first tick? Or no? It, it's it, just like his first solo? It's tick number one. Prior to that, they had a special edition mm -hmm. that was numbered, which is really his first appearance, but that's the mm. one that everybody... That everyone wants. Right. It is a cool cover. I like the all black in the background. Yeah, they're kind of those bigger books, though. They're not magazine size, I don't think. Yeah. But they're a little it's bigger. Like a, just a little larger, right? Yeah, a little Almost bigger. turtle size. So that's actually the first Pepper Potts. Oh, that's... Oh, really? Rescue or something. The, the, the one oh, yeah. The movies. Introducing Pepper Potts. And Happy. Oh, that's cool. It's the first appearance of both of them. That's awesome. That's the first Silver Age Catwoman, or am I wrong it on that? It is the first Catwoman. I like that. Silver Age, yeah. That's really cool. Catfight. Yeah, cool. Cool costume. <laughs> Got two copies. Oh, Silver boom. Silver Surfer that's 1. That's a great book. That Another one, great you gotta one. take those out. Put those on the wall. Oh, is that a Secret Wars 8 behind it? Yes, it is. Boom. Oh, newsstand, newsstand too. Oh, that's the first Riri, the variant cover. The Age of Apocalypse variant. Two, Two of them. I'm looking for a Marvel Spotlight 5. You don't have one of those, do you? Oh, this yeah, one is nice. awesome. There yeah. should be a couple in there somewhere. In here? Mm -hmm. First Silver Age Kazar. First appearance of Gambit. 266 or 295. X-Men. Oh, there you go. I love that one. Amazing Adventures number 2. Number 3. These are great covers. One of these is like a Dr. Doom. A little preview, I know. Oh, there's Spider-Man. Yeah, <laughs> when they, they tested out Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Tales of Suspense, 32. Man, this is like the biggest selection of these Golden Age books I've seen. Are these Golden Age, these ones? I guess they're early silver, probably. Yeah. I mean, that's actually a hard, hard to find. That's Yellow all, Claw? Yeah, first appearance of uh, well, Yellow Claw, but Jimmy Woo of, of Marvel movies now. And all of these are going to be for sale, at the sale, right? Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is going to be awesome. It's an expensive book. Are you going to have any dollar bins or like anything like that? That I'm not sure I'll have time to get ready, unfortunately. I think at the next show, because primarily I don't have a whole lot of lower price stuff. It's in our convention inventory, which is in actually, our, we have a warehouse in Oklahoma too. And most of the convention lower priced office is in Oklahoma. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that Green Arrow cover with Speedy. That's awesome. You don't see these like ever. Wing okay. Comics. Crime to be paid. <laughs> oh, nice Adventures comic. Oh, that's cool too. Early Captain Marvel. There's some really nice early Captain Marvel. Man. A lot decisions. of great books. <laughs> oh man, if you're coming out to the show, make sure that you bring your money. <laughs> yeah, right. This is <laughs> so going to be awesome. Big books. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's going to be one of those shows where you're going to have to decide what you want. Yeah, you got Because like, you're not going to be able to take everything home. You can't take it all. You huh. your do you want the golden age? Do you want the horror? Do you want the... Want a cool poster? The first appearances. Yeah, or the posters. These are awesome, like, war comics here. These are neat. I just picked these up yesterday, actually, or a couple days ago. Early spirit sections from the 40s. It might be 50s. Oh, I can't see. I don't have my glasses. I'm not sure what year they're from. 1941. Wow. But they were in newspapers, but that's the early oh, spirit. Oh, so they're like the, the section of the 
Yeah, but it's the spirit from the 40s. An EC that no one cares about, unfortunately. Uh, there's ECs in here, but the ECs are, that are in here, Other, I have a few other than these, but they're more non-superhero type things, or non-horror type things. Except for these are ECs that are non-horror too, I guess. It's after the, yeah, the, the gruesome stuff. Two-fisted tails. But this stuff goes on and on. Uh, What's your favorite type of EC books? Is it like, do you like the horror the most, or...? Yeah, I'm pretty much in the, the the horror stuff is the is the neatest stuff, of course. Um, you know, because I collect the movie posters. I don't really collect comics. It's hard to collect what you sell. Oh, you don't so collect comic books. I collect Disney's because we don't sell them too much. You know, I've been talking to her about that recently, selling some of my personal collection off. I was talking to Joe about it a little while ago, and yeah, he's you like, "You got to stop holding on everything." <laughs> yeah, once you sell your favorite books, which I've done, it, you lose that zest to yeah. collect them as much. So it's hard. This is like the movie posters I've only collected up to now, and oh, that's hard I, I sold a few at the at, the, at Tom Show in the Land. Mm -hmm. And once I sell a few more, it's like yeah, it's time to sell them. And then yeah. once you sell it, what's cool is you can buy new stuff. That's what I try to tell people a lot of times too. Like if you're holding on to stuff that you have so much of and you don't really know what to do with it, sometimes it's best just to bulk it out. It's not as scarce as people think, right? Yeah. You know, it, that's what I've been been taught recently. It's just, I mean, those are neat covers. I, I, I got to go through this stuff here because, like I said, I, I, I don't like you know, the dealer I bought it from had a high price on this book, and I, I have no clue why. Maybe because it's good girl art or has a certain artist inside. 280. My knowledge doesn't extend that deep. That's super cool, and it has the same price almost. I mean, it's not in incredible condition, but it's number two. So I'm like, wow, that's, I, that's you know, just an early, I guess, early 40s. Why won't you send any of these to like the like get graded or anything? People can hold a book. Yeah, People would rather buy it raw. Plus, I'd rather sell it raw because mm -hmm. they're made to read. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's three thousand dollars; it's still made to read. You know, it, 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 let me think. Every book I have that's raw, even if it's a ten thousand dollar book, early Supermans, I have a couple of those. You know, I've read number six of the show. I bought it and read it while I was at the show. Um. That just how it is. That's what they're for. So are these like the majority of all the slabs you're gonna have? No, actually, I, I have the better stuff. There. This is just leftovers. I I, I, I don't have too, nice too many. I'm here for storage, and it's just like the posters. I don't carry the better stuff here at the storage unit. Oh, these are nice spawns, though. Yeah, yeah, like a it, first Spider-Man India. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, like the first werewolf and stuff. But I, I, oh, that's the first Valeria. Everybody loves this one. Yeah, it's it's a shame. I just um, I can't leave too much of this stuff in the warehouse. That's actually a book. The first, first metal, one, right? Yep. Yeah. But because it's just it 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 it, uh, it doesn't do well to this type of a.